Hey guys, and welcome to Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. This game centers around the twins, Mio and Mayu, as they get stuck in a village that's trying to use them as sacrifices. Let's get right into it with the opening cutscene. I'm glad there's an easy mode. Now loading. Didn't we always promise each other? That we would always be together. used to play here all the time. Yeah. All of this will be gone soon. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It does a little bit. I'm fine. Mia? Yes? <laughs> Never mind. About that time back then. Mayu? Mayu! Where are you going? Um? We're here. Let me look at... Oh. I guess I can't change the controls. I move so weird. It's definitely prettier than Fatal Frame 1, I think. The cutscenes are, at least. It's similar. I seem to move more freely. Maya, Maya really... Maya really just totally abandoned us for a butterfly. Mayu? A lost village. Little friend too, Crimson Butterfly. I can see why it's called that. I've heard about this place. A long time ago, there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. People who get lost in the woods are trapped by the village. Could this be that place? I'm more 
talking now. Can I talk to you? You can see the roofs of houses faintly through the darkness. There don't seem to be any people in the village. Well, I'm bumping her, but I can't I've talk to her. Before, but there's nobody here. The statue of guardian deities appears to be a carving of twins. There seem to be many statues just like this one throughout the village. I don't know about that. Oh, I guess this is probably the way we're supposed to go, isn't it? It's so dark. It's pretty ominous. The rope bridge's boards are old. It'd probably be dangerous to cross it without a light. Over there. You should probably find... It looks like a cemetery. You should probably find another path. There's a cemetery there? Well, I definitely don't want to go that way. That's definitely where the ghost would be. Maybe I... Should we check out that village? Maybe I missed something over here. I'm sure that I did. Oh, let's see what's around here. There's a little lamp. This lantern has a dim glow. The game can... Blah, blah, blah. The game. The game can be saved here. When you want to say game and save at the same time. Gave. Okay. It's taking so long. Okay, I did it. Awesome. Um. What's over here? Huge talon-like stone pillars are lined up around the giant pedestal rock. Maybe it's some kind of altar. Can I go this way? Oh gosh, it's pretty big. Fire there. Fire here. Can I go along this path? It looks like there's a place down there. So, when I was reading the wiki for this game, I see something blue down there. Is it a spirit? There's something on the ground. Black bag, there are several pieces of paper and a photo inside. A news clipping from a year ago, the headline reads, Geological Surveyor Missing. With the start of construction for All God's Dam approaching, Masumi Mak Makimura, 26, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area, has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard from for five days. It seems like a follow-up to that other news clipping. The search for Masumi Makimura, 26, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makimura had been helping to conduct a geological survey of All God's Dam. As of yesterday, he has been missing for 10 days. A photo of a man and woman are attached to the news clipping. Who okay. Who is this, I wonder? Who else is here? Anyway, I was looking at the Wikipedia and it said most people that played... Oh! That play... Ah! <laughs> that played Fatal Frame 1 were too scared to complete it. So uh, when they made Fatal Frame 2, they tried to make it much more interesting. I wonder if anyone's here. Friendly neighborhood ghost. Oh! Excuse me. It says you, uh, it said you can see a kimono room beyond the lattice. And it said you could probably get there from some other part of the, the house. Wait, what? Ugh! I clicked too fast! 
Rather than walking around outside, you'd better try looking in the house first. Oh, that's where we came from. I didn't even know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push you around. Very old and dilapidated. Okay. Mia, Seems like someone was looking go too far. for Masumi. And, uh, I think she found him and got absolutely wrecked. The rope supporting the shelf is broken and the shelf has fallen onto the sunken fireplace. Woman's Notebook 1, a page torn from a notebook, is near the sunken fireplace. I've heard rumors about the lost village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of a ceremony, and the village was wiped out from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest lead lost people to the village entrance. Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. I wonder who that woman was. Was it the one laughing? Or was it just... I don't know. Is this a door we can open? It is! Oh, it's a closet. Is it? Oh. Oh, it's so cramped. Oh, there's a save here. Sometimes I sent someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say that this village vanished on the day of the ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over again. Okay. I don't know about that, but I'll go ahead and save. I think I should keep in mind that we're going to need some sort of light source to go uh, on that bridge to, um... I feel like we're being watched by someone. Oh gosh, don't say that. To the... 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 I forgot what it's called. The cemetery. Is there nothing I can... <gasps> oh! I found a sacred water! I don't know why I said it like that, but it's exciting. I'm sorry, I hope I don't get, like, a bad reputation if I push Mayu around. Um, I think I'm Mio right now. But there's, like, no way to get past her in that little tiny space. I wonder if there's anything else. Kind of like in Fatal Frame 1, you can find items, um... 
I guess that's just a save room. You can find items in random spots that aren't glowing. If that makes sense. There hasn't been too much action so far besides that ghost we saw when we entered the place. Oh, that has a lock on it. There's a padlock engraved with a family crest representing Ginger on the door. That's fun. I'm sorry, Mayu. I'm not trying to push you around, but I, I need to get over here. Oh, there's another staircase. I don't know about this. It's a lot easier to move up and down the stairs. Ah! At least it seems like that. So I'm guessing we need to go that way, but I'd like to explore. It's locked? Okay. I'm sorry, Mayu. I'm s so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. What is that? There's like a hole in the wall. Is this just back to the... It is! That takes us- I'm sorry, this is, it takes us back to the beginning. Okay, good to know. So I guess we will go follow the ghost. We need a, a family crest with ginger on it. Why is that an angle? I don't like it. It's a bit cold. Don't, don't say that. Oh, it's really pretty out there. Woman's Notebook 3. Masumi, it's me, Miyako. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be nearby. Miss you. I wonder if anyone's really here. Uh, is that just a dead end? Seems like it. Can I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. Um. Where do I go? I was hoping that I could go outside. But I can't? Okay, let's see. Maybe it'll lead me somewhere else. Why? <gasps> yeah, it is leading me somewhere else. Maybe the store is open now. The door is slightly ajar. Okay, it did open. Something's strange about this place. There's a flashlight on the table. Seems like the batteries are still good. Someone must have left it here. Camera obscura pointers. An old book is under the flashlight. Camera pointers is written on the cover. This camera was made by Dr. Asso <laughs> to take photographs of beings in the spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. It can reveal events from... Ah, ah, I have hair in my face. To take photos of beings in the spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. It can reveal events from the past or the lingering thoughts of individuals. It is also able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a photo of an unseen being has an exorcismal effect, but simultaneously creates a sort of link with them. If the camera obscura is used carelessly, these beings may even gain the upper hand on the user. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of this village's blah, forbidden ritual. If Dr. Asso were here, I'm sure he would be excited. Sejiro Makabe. Isn't that the one that 
was missing, Makabe? It's much older than the flashlight. Seems like it's originally from this house. Here we go. First fight. Basic camera operation. Looks like uh, the camera obscura got a little makeover too. The camera obscura is a special camera that allows you to exercise spirits by taking photographs of them. When you face a direction where spirit is, the filament at the bottom right of the screen or top of the viewfinder will glow. Once you've located a spirit, raise the camera with the O button. When you found a spirit, center it in the viewfinder screen, then press the shutter button, the X or the R1 button to take a photo of it. Default settings. Can I change those settings? Uh. Uh. Oh, that's a lot. Um. I'm not sure I know how to. Don't look at me like that. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. 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 Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Place Can I really not like change my controls on the camera? <sighs> I'm afraid the camera lines are change lenses. Yeah, now I can't. I have to just get used to these controls. In Fatal Frame 1 I could choose uh a certain control type and I always chose C and now we're on A. Okay, herbal medicine, that's great. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Listen, you can't go everywhere I go and then expect not to get pushed around when I need to move. And then there's like a little <sighs> slit here. What is this? I want to know. The sliding door is broken and won't budge. Cold outside air blows in between the cracks. Okay. Well. I have a feeling we're gonna get attacked by 
I'm sorry. By a ghost. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if there was another part to the room, I guess. Mayu, please! Please! Where did I come in from? I don't even... I don't even know. It's here. This is it. Woman. Oops. I'm too used to the other controls. I thought I was gonna have to fight. It's gone. Come on, let's get out of here. The presence you are feeling in front of the door is gone now. It's said you can capture things that ordinary people can't see with this camera. Could this be the power of the camera obscura? Yes, it can. Okay. We definitely have the ability to be attacked now. Um. I'm kind of wondering where we should go. Because I am not sure. Oh, we can go. Ugh, we can't. Mia, look. Vanishes at door. She has like no legs. Okay, um, I guess I should go to these doors? I didn't even know that they're... I don't... I didn't even know that these doors were here. Um, oh there it is. Oh that's creepy. It kind of focuses in when you finally get it right. A different place shows in the photo. That's near the atrium. It's like a coal brazier here somewhere. Okay. Got it. I need to go back to where that atrium was. Um, I forgot exactly where it was. Actually, I think I'm going the wrong way because I'm just going to end up... Mia. Going down the staircase. What? What's wrong? Someone's here. Someone's here? <laughs> but it's locked. We can't do anything about that right now. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. So, classic fatal frame, we need to go to that uh, atrium and take a photo and then that door should open for us. Wait! Okay. If you could, if you could run too, that would be cool. Oh wait, I heard... Uh, it seems like in the cutscene I hurt her leg, so that was very There's insensitive of me here. to say. I don't see anybody. My filament's glowing though. I'm gonna need to take a picture of this. Ooh. It looks like an injured man. Oh! <laughs> I 
don't come near me. Um, okay, I mean, I don't think I can help that. You're a ghost, so you can avoid me, okay? So, let's go back to that door. There we go. Yeah, it seems like when we were younger we must have hurt her leg, Mayu's leg. I was like, it would be great if you could run, and then I remembered. I was like, oh, that's right. It's open. Okay. Something is reflecting the light. Oh good, I got herbal medicine. Perfect. It looks like an atrium beyond the lattice. You can see a deck beyond the atrium, so that's where we just were. There's like a very sheer cloth there. Oh my god, it looks like someone's actually there. Let me survey the room first. There's a hanging painting here, but it's so faded you can't even see the color of the flowers. And there's a weird little... The sliding door of the closet won't open anymore. Maybe it's warped. Okay. Woman's Notebook 4. Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me. Miyako Sudo. There's some old bedding spread out on the floor. There's a lump in it as if there's something inside. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Is this a door we can open, or is this just a wall? It's just a wall. Uh. Okay. I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing in here. Uh, maybe I just go out and the game will let me know? Oh. I guess Mai is helpful in that she lets us know things sometimes. Ginger key, a crest with a ginger design is carved on a copper key. I missed you. Oh. I wasn't able to capture her. She said I missed you. Well now we need to go and use that ginger key on the uh Oh my goodness! I missed it again. Oh, I missed it again! Oh, that stinks. That's gonna mess with my score. Really? Wow, those are hard. Okay, well. I unlocked the door with the ginger key. I like that it's ginger. That's fun. Oh, sorry. Ah! Oh, I got it. I freaking got it. Okay, she's going that way. So I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> yes! Herbal medicine! I'm gonna click around on things. And see if they give me stuff. Okay, that's it for that. There's a blue thing over here. Woman's Notebook 6. How much time has passed since I came here? How long with the blah blah? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Masumi. An old brazier in the corner of the room. There's dust inside it hasn't been used in a long time. Okay. There's a blue thing. Woman's Notebook 7. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, the darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughter, rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in a blood-stained komodo, 
insane laughter and twin sisters calling out, Don't kill me. That woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. a good shot of my sister. Uh, okay. Woman's notebook. Eight. Wow, there's a lot. Masumi found my note. He was in the village. I can see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back, he came. She also became trapped here. She came into this house looking for her boyfriend. And then, where did she go? This place must be... Angie. Spirit camera capturing exercising spirits. You can exercise spirits. Exercise by taking photographs of them with the camera obscura. The greater the response indicated on the charge gauge in the capture circle, the greater damage you can inflict on the spirit. When the charge gauge Glows red, that instant is a shutter chance. You can shoot during this instant, and you can inflict heavier damage on the spirit and repel it back farther. Blast back. Using this blast back ability will push back an approaching spirit. Oh, that's awesome. You must have film to shoot. When shooting in succession, you have to wait for the next shot to load before shooting again. That makes sense. I, I've uh, had that issue. While loading, pressing the shutter button will have no effect. Load time is shown at the top right of the screen. High power film gives more damage and loads quicker. Okay. <laughs> Can I? Um. Where? Oh. Uh oh. Oh! I didn't know she was attacked by sister. Ah! Where? I don't see her. Definitely a little more complicated than the Fatal Frame 1 control. Chapter 2, Twin Shrine Maidens. I had no idea we already got to Chapter 2. There's something on the floor. Aragonite. Looks like a glowing blue crystal. The spirit must have dropped it. I love crystals. Once you find the spirit stone radio, you can use radio on the menu to listen to stones. Spirit orb acquired. Spirit Orb are items used to raise the maximum levels of the camera's basic functions or power-up lenses. Use a Spirit Orb from Function Upgrades on the camera menu to increase the maximum level of a camera function or power-up lens. 
After adding a spirit orb to one of your camera's basic functions or power-up lenses, you can raise its level by using the points you've accumulated through capturing spirits. Okay, so the camera works a little differently in this game. Some kind of device is on the table. It looks like a radio. Spirit stone radio. Choose radio from the menu to hear the spirit voices you've collected. I thought that's what it was gonna be because I decided to read the note before I got whatever was on the table. You find an old book on the table. It seems to be about the radio. The spirit stone radio. Through the use of crystals in its circuits, this improved version of a crystal radio is able to tune into the voices from the spirit world. If a person wears a crystal for a long time, their thoughts will remain within, creating a special type of crystal, a spirit stone. According to Dr. Asso, Aso, the radio can also pick up sounds from the spirit world, indicating feelings and intuition in a similar manner to the sympathetic phenomenon that occurs between twins. Really? Okay, hold on, let's go to menu. Okay, so we do have a radio now. A blue aragonite left where the woman who wandered into the village was. I think what happened to that woman is the other guy um, was somehow influenced by the village and got crazy. I'm assuming where did you go without you, I. Let's see if we can upgrade our camera. So, we have a spirit orb. Range, accumulation, and power. Uh, I think I want to do range because I'm always bad at range. I'm bad at aiming usually. Use points to raise level of a basic function. Okay, so when we get more points, we can do a function power-up. Select the power-up lens to equip. We don't have a power-up lens yet. Okay, interesting. Alright, you guys, I am going to end Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly Part 1 there. And in the next part, um, where's our sister? Bye!